Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I am making a Christmas card using an adorable Santa sleigh die. I'm using a white cardstock, smooth white cardstock, and I wanted a four and three quarter inch square card, so I'm cutting my cardstock to nine and a half by four and three quarters, and then I will score that in half. I'm using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I'm pulling out the stylus from the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit. I will fold that in half and give it a good crease with my bone folder. Here's a piece of paper from the Graphic 45 Christmas Carol Collection from the 6x6 collection. And I cut that to 4 and 5 eighths inch square to give myself a little white border. Here's a Spellbinders Nest Abilities Florida Lee squares die and I cut the largest square from a color box metallic paper. And here's a scrap piece of paper from Basic Gray's Juniper Berry. So I'm just cutting that down to the size that I need, which happens to be three and one eighths inch square. Here's the die that I'm using from Marianne Designs. I'm going to run it through my Sizzix Big Shot machine with some red cardstock that I had in my scraps. And I'll have all these products linked at Cut It Home's blog. And you'll also find a link to Cut It Home and Cut It Home's blog in the description box. So check out the description box for more information. I'm just using my Tim Holtz piercing tool to pop out any of the negative pieces that I don't need. And that's a beautiful die. I love that sleigh die. They also have a larger one. Here I'm cutting it out again using some lightweight chipboard just to give my sleigh a little bit of dimension. And now I'm using a little bit of wet glue. I'm using some Scotch Quick Dry to adhere those together. The tweezers I'm using are Tweezer B tweezers. They are reverse tweezers, so they just kind of help to line up smaller intricate shapes. Keep your fingers out of the way. Here is a Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen. I'm going to add that to my sleigh. That way I can set it aside and let it dry. It only takes a minute or two to dry. And it just gives it a tiny bit of shimmer. So now I want to adhere all my matte, matte pieces together. I'm using some Angel Craft tape, and this is a very strong adhesive. So I'm just going to add that to all my pieces, burnish it down with my bone folder, and then add them. I like to pull off one piece of the tape backing, center it on my card where I want it. Once I'm happy with it, I press that down and then lift it up and take off the other three pieces. This helps me to get a more even layer or helps me to center it a little bit better. So I'm doing that with all three pieces. And that metallic paper, it's shiny silver from Colorbox is the name of it. That cut out beautifully in the Big Shot machine with that die. Here are some presents that I print and cut from my Cameo machine. I'm going to tuck those in behind the sleigh. I've added some more Scotch Quick Dry to the very bottom of my sleigh. That way I'm leaving the top open so I can tuck in the presents. And once I'm happy with where they're all at and they're adhered down, then I go back and put a little bit of the wet glue to the top of the sleigh as well, just to make sure that it doesn't come up. So again, using those tweezers really helped me to kind of get those presents right where I want them and tuck them in. Now I pulled out the Sizzix Thin Lits dies. These are from Tim Holtz, the holiday script, and I'm using the word believe, and I will be cutting that out from the same red cardstock that I used for the sleigh and adding that to the center of my card, or excuse me, the inside of my card. And lastly, I add a few snowflakes that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts. So 
I will let you finish out this video and thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please stop by Cut It Home's blog where you'll find all the products used today. Thanks for watching.